the title of this email was Crazy Straw. <laughs> uh, hi, Lars. Love your show. Very happy about that, Ryan. I would like to know how to make a crazy straw. And I actually had to, um, I actually had to look that up um, because, I don't know. I got kids, as you probably have known what a crazy straw is. But if you search crazy straw, you can kind of see those on the images all wacky uh, like that there. Who would have known? Uh, <laughs> um, I was thinking sculpting it. However, uh, is there a way to hollow it out? Or would I have to design it like the bike frame you recently did? I don't want to do the bike frame we did recently, Ryan. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. You could definitely use uh, the Sculpt workspace. We'll do that first, but I would probably use the standard modeling environment, I think, depending on what kind of crazy straw you want to make. Let's take a look at it quick here. Um, that should be a good little one. So let's go into Fusion. There was our logos. Let's move on. Um, so if we're going to do Sculpt, we'll click Create Form in a new file. And you have these predefined shapes. We do have a cylinder. So I'm just going to sketch a circle. I don't know how big a, really a straw is, to be honest. Uh, maybe six millimeters in diameter. Um, and then you kind of get that shape here now there's many different ways we could do this and and you maybe wanted to sketch up something to to follow but if we just use standard uh sculpt tools double click on the edge so select like the whole thing here um we could start pulling in this straw here if you hold down the alt key while you're pulling then of course you're adding a new section and uh, you could start to kind of like pull uh in kind of like in this and try to make you know start creating somewhat of a band holding down alt every time you see i'm adding uh adding a new section here so you do kind of have that option you could play around with it. and i said this before that with uh with sculpting it's all about how much time you're spending on this right now i might move over to the front side here um and then i maybe start kind of like doing the same thing you just have seen me do so maybe i i start twisting it a little bit this way adding a new section to that twist it this way so this is kind of how you could use um the sculpt is space here to kind of create now it looks like we might want to work a little bit of this shape here um, but this would definitely be a way to kind of start creating should we say organic shapes now the trick in sculpt is that when we are done with this when we have when we have moved it around like this there is an option in here called thicken uh sitting right down here so we can add a thickness to it so we can select our body here and if we do i don't know how big we're going to make it we're going to make it 0.25 and we hit enter then we actually now have a, um, a straw. This is now hollow. If I hit finish form, it will give us <laughs> a warning. See that? There's a warning right there. Um, actually, it's kind of hard to see. Um, if I hit there, you can see that it shows up in red that there's a warning. And that's actually because there is some overlapping geometry there um probably all i have to do is i will probably actually go back now i know where it is let me go Control z to get rid of the, the thickened surface there um and i would go back right click edit double click on that face and it's probably just because um it needs a little help maybe so let's just see if we can Bulk that out a little bit. It might just be, it's getting that intersection there. Let's try that. It might not be. So this is something you would have to to play with, and probably also why I would not be doing uh, it like this. But if that's what you want, there we go. Now it became a solid. Right now we're back in the solid environment, and you have a straw, and you could you could go crazy. Um, do this or anything so there would be one way now another way to think about this would be standard um, a standard kind of modeling 
environment. So let me go in and uh, you could, for example, do something like a coil, use the coil. So if I click coil and uh, let's do another straw over here. Um, and we drew that six millimeters. Well, actually this is gonna be bigger. Uh, let's make it maybe a hundred like that. So here is a coil. Now you can see this could be maybe considered, <laughs> um, you know, already having that, that shape. And you have some different options in here. So if I go down here and we do six millimeters, so we kind of have it the same kind of diameter as before, you could start adding some angle to it here. So maybe we do, I don't know, 25 degrees, right? So now we start getting um, something that might be a crazy shape. And you could you could now extrude to this. So we could actually go over and say over a new sketch on this face here. Um, and we could now draw something. I think I did it on this face here, P for project. This. Let's do a um, Q, right? So we could we could keep on here, and then we could draw another arc. That could even be another another uh, coil on here, in some direction. Uh, but then the trick here is to use the shell command up here. So click shell, and then we'll just click on this face. And we'll click on the other face where we want the openings and then we can give it a thickness of whatever we want in this case 0.25 and uh, and now this thing is actually oops this is actually hollow too so that's a couple of different ways that you can create uh crazy straws huh i thought i would be uh never thought that i would be modeling crazy straws inside of fusion 360 but ryan yep two different ways you can use the sculpt Again, <clears throat> the sculpt might be a little bit of a, uh, you know, workaround because it is so organic, where at least using something like the coil, you're probably getting a more, uh, more normal shape. You could also just using like a sweep command following to have a profile following a path if you just wanted to do something uh, more like flat and don't want it to go all, all crazy. Hope that was, hope that was useful.